Hi there, David from the True Blue Sand Vlog again. And uh, I'm especially hoping that Scout Crafter gets a look at this little video. This is how our dog's toenail trimmer saved us hundreds of bucks. Uh, we drive a, a 94 Chevy pickup as our second vehicle. I use it every day. And uh, <laughs> we had a bunch of work done on it last year, so it's worth driving. Uh, but anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I was coming back from the farm and the service engine soon light had came on. It had never come on before. And uh, as I got close to the close to home, the engine started ticking a little bit and uh, when I pulled in up to the garage, um, I could smell antifreeze. And it was dripping antifreeze. It was still it was actually blowing antifreeze out of the fitting on top of the intake manifold and what had happened is uh, this is a pot metal fitting that uh, screws into the top of the intake manifold at the rear of the engine and the antifreeze circulates out of this and goes to the heater core and uh, anyway you could see it had rotted off and uh, it never quite let go all the way when I when I I went reached in, I found, when I found the problem, uh, it broke off pretty easily. But it was it, it was blowing it was blowing out on one side of it. Uh, it was still attached over here. So anyway, I still had antifreeze in the engine. Didn't hurt the engine any. But uh, I you know I had to take off the air cleaner, move wires out of the way and whatnot to get to this. And this is a pop metal fitting. Uh, screwed into the aluminum manifold and it was broken off flush with the top of that manifold and if anybody's and if you have ever tried to do work on something like that you know the challenge and uh, tried working on it with a small chisel and it would just break it would just crumble off pieces you couldn't do anything so I attacked that thing with a hacksaw blade I thinned a hacksaw blade down where it would go inside of that and I was trying to cut grooves through it. It would be like it was like, it was like this would be what was in there yet. Only this is a piece of iron, iron pipe. But you know, reaching there with a hacksaw blade and make cut, cut, cut on it, trying to uh, get a groove in it. That didn't work well at all. It was too grabby and not enough room to work. And uh, I got out our Dremel tool. We we have this for. Uh, working on our dog's toenails. We put a little grinder disc on there and you can you can work on toenails with that. That's what we use it for. We don't use it for gunsmithing or anything like that. I'm scared to death to use this on anything I might ruin. But what we did was I'd reach inside and you had to spin it fast. If you spun it slow it was grabby. But spin it fast and set it down in there and just bring it out and using this little I call it a cherry little round tool with uh, with cutters ground into it and I made I made several grooves in there you just and you have to cut through there and watch closely and cut down into the thread so I was having to cut into the threads a little bit on the manifold I had to make those pieces weak enough they'd break out um, anyway I put several grooves in it and I sharpened up a punch for a chisel and went to work very carefully and I peeled out the first one and got it out with needle nose pliers and got that out and we saved you know we got that out and then I screwed in a new hose barb went to the parts store and got heater hose and a new hose barb for that and uh, it sealed right up I one of, one of the grooves I'd cut down almost to the bottom of those threads but you know we put uh, put plenty of permatex on it it sealed up just fine as long as you don't go past the bottom of the threads it'll still seal and uh, that little fix saved us hundreds of bucks. If if I hadn't got that out of there, I would have had to take this to a shop and uh, have a new uh, intake manifold put on it so we could hook up the heater on it. And uh, anyway, so pretty good save. You know, an old truck is not worth much, but doggone it, saving us money every time we use it. So uh, anyway, Scout Crafter, I know you don't mess with anything as modern as a Dremel tool. But it sure saved our bacon on this one. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.